Good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine. We're going to switch the background. Good evening, teacher. Oh, so welcome. Glad to see you again, Elizabeth Martinez. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how, how are you? Good, thank you. Mm, a little tired, you know. Mm. But what we can do is just to work again. <laughs> okay. No matter what we're going to continue doing today. Oh, we see. Mini, mini. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, who are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm doing. Great. I'm good. Thank you. All right. Hello. Hola. Welcome back. Glad to see you again.
Okay, I got 11. Thank you very much for coming today. As you know, our plan, uh, we're finished today, but I told you what happened yesterday was not my fault and was caused to the system. For the reason we are going to make a general review today and you are going to have the, the opportunity to clarify some those that you may have. So please, I need all of you uh, Try to keep your cameras on. Hello, sir. How are you, teacher? I'm here. Okay, what happened yesterday, teacher? Yeah, the problem that we have, that I have was that the, suddenly the power went off. De repente se fue la energía y por lo tanto cuando se va la energía se corta el internet. Generalmente el programa de Zoom cuando algo así sucede siempre eh, se queda convirtiendo y automáticamente graba. El día de ayer Cuando se fue la energía, comenzó a convertir y en cuestión de dos segundos desapareció eh, la caja de diálogo que dice convirtiendo. Bueno, yo pensé que tal vez había quedado guardado en, en cómo se llama en la carpeta de Zoom. Tan pronto terminé de hacer el uno por uno, fui a ver la carpeta y me di cuenta que no estaba ahí. Entonces... Eh, bueno, me informé en ese momento lo que había sucedido. Cosas que no están bajo el control de uno. Y pues las reglas para Insafor son que cuando no está el vídeo, pues toca que hacer un review, hacer repetir otra vez. Porque es la forma que ellos tienen para auditar. Entonces a disculparme por lo que ya dije que no está bajo mi control pero lo más importante es que en el review que hagamos el día de hoy eh, pues van a tener oportunidad los que no tuvieron y, y van a reafirmar los que ya entendieron y pues espero de que salgamos adelante No sé si ya les había ocurrido antes con alguien más, pero eh, bueno, yo estuve consultando para ver si era el único que al que me había pasado. ¿no? Y a veces como que hay como una desconexión en la plataforma. Y se recuerdan que al inicio les dije, bueno, tuve que hacer un corte porque se me había frisado. Y no era cuestión de señal, sino que como que era cuestión de la plataforma. Pero bien. Aquí estamos, entre más hablemos, eh, más aprendemos y les agradezco por estar eh, acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, las cosas pues a veces uno las tiene planificadas de un modo y suceden de otro. Así es que, excuse me for that. Ahí, ahí está Walter preocupado, mire. Ya lo vi que teacher, está... Hello, sir. Teacher, eh, yo recibí un mensaje ahora que el lunes va a haber reunión. Sí, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente, que como, como ya les dije, que eh, para que puedan auditar eh, la clase del día de ayer sin el vídeo, no lo puede hacer Insafor. Entonces, ahí nos toca sacrificio a ambos y la encuesta la haremos hasta el día lunes. Así es que, I'm sorry, los que tenían planes de irse de party desde ya hoy justamente terminando la clase. Bueno, disfruten, teacher. disfruten el teacher. weekend. <risa> disfruten el weekend y apliquen el dicho que tiene 
Don Luis. Bueno, y ahora son de vacaciones. Hola. Nelson. Ahora son de vacaciones. Ahora. Hola, hola. Ahora son de vacaciones. Yo... Bueno, solo van a ser dos horas el lunes. <risa> Bueno, ni modo, eh, eh, ya había hecho viajes, más tenía que quedarme. No, no, puede irte siempre y cuando tenga conexión a internet donde va a ir. Internet no donde esté, ¿verdad? Claro, sí, hoy la, la tecnología. Eh, vamos a estar pendientes, dicho. La tecnología está muy desarrollada, sí. Así es que. Eso sí. Nos toca repartir. Entonces, el, nos toca el día repartir. lunes más la encuesta. Sí, señor. Nos toca repasar la plana el día okay. de hoy. Y bueno, démosle hacia adelante, que todo nos va a salir okay. de la mejor manera, porque pues ustedes y yo sabemos que estuvimos acá, pero no tenemos una evidencia. Así es que hoy he estado pensando que quizás mejor, mejor es quizás tener dos computadoras y conectarse en las dos y estar grabando en las dos, por si una falla. Pero eso no implica que en todo vamos a aplicar dos. Así es que no estén pensando. Teacher, teacher y que no, no tiene este batería la computadora. No, es que no es por cuestiones de carga. O sea, no, ni... pero o sea, cuando hay un bajón de, de energía, la computadora siempre sigue funcionando. Sí, o sea, ella está ella conectada se... a la batería. No, 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 sí. Ella se mantuvo encendida. No, no, no. Eh, mi computadora, gracias a Dios, tiene quizás para 24 horas. Entonces, no es que la computadora se me apagó, sino que lo que sucedió fue que en el, en el bajón, en el corte de energía, el modem fue que se apagó. Entonces, ah, cuando el modem se apagó, ustedes saben que para que vuelva a reiniciarse se tarda un par de minutos. Sí. automáticamente eh, cuando el modem se apaga hay una desconexión entonces eh, la plataforma deja de grabar, eh, de grabar y comienza a convertir ella com comenzó a convertir en lo que se fue la energía por el modem y de repente desapareció ya no siguió convirtiendo nada entonces yo dije quedó guardado por ahí en un ladito vamos a continuar pero al momento de buscar fue cuando les puse el mensaje de que no estaba. Así es que ahí no fue cuestión de energía, no. La, mi computadora se mantiene siempre encendida. Siempre la mantengo cargada también. Entonces, es más, fíjense que a veces me dura hasta tres días la carga. O sea que fue, pro, fue problema de señal la de, al bajón de luz. Así es. Internet. Sí, eso fue precisamente. Entonces, yo también tengo el... Tengo el... Tengo lo que es el conectado a batería y aunque se vaya a luz, queda encendido, pero como se pierde la señal, de nada sirve. Siempre, siempre, siempre pasa lo mismo. Aunque el modem lo tenga conectado a una batería, pero si la energía se fue en otro lado, siempre hay un corte. La señal se pierde. Así es. Así claro. es que, I do really sorry about. Y entonces a todo esto vamos a, a seguir el lunes. Yes. Lunes. Así, así, así son los planes. Así son los planes de Dios. We are going to see each other again the next Monday. Ni modo, uh, aunque esté en la playa, ya se va a tener que conectar Elisa. Pues sí, puh, chica. Dale. Le aguamos la fiesta, Elisa. Imagínese hasta de, hasta de mi trabajo salí ahora. Híjole, y voy a tener clase. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. I do really sorry. La última, Lisa, pero igual. Ni <laughs> modo. Yo creo que a todos los lo pasó. And, ah, pero a to, Teacher, pero entonces no importa que las tareas no estén hechas ahora. ¿Cómo no? Sí, importa. <laughs> pues sí, no, vamos lo, a tener el lunes. Me había alegrado porque no he terminado. Porque lo único que nos hace falta solamente es a. Uh, Solo prácticamente hacer un review general y hacer la encuesta. Pero ¿Sí? ahora o el lunes. No, no, ah, that is going to be on Monday. Vaya. Así es que tenemos, ahorita... que, tenemos que trabajar dos horas entonces. Así es que ahorita, por favor, se me ponen listos con la asistencia. Presente, Ana, Ana, Ana Beatriz. <ríe> Presente. Presente, <ríe> Shannon. 
Elizabeth. Present teacher. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo no ha llegado. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Eh, Cristian Ernesto. Present, present, present teacher. Claudio. Present. Eh, Grisel. Present teacher. Ember. Present. Elizabeth Martínez. Present teacher. Va de viaje. Luis Alfonso. Here. I am here. Present teacher. María Elena. I'm here teacher. Nelson. I'm here teacher. Mar Francisco. Present teacher. Oscar. Oscar. Present teacher. Ahí estaba, sí, yo lo había visto. Walter. Present teacher. Jenny. Present. Ay, mira, ya apareció Jenny. <risa> yes. Cuando ya Jenny está es porque ya está. Carlos ya estoy. Javier. Carlos Javier. <risa> Present teacher. José Eduardo. José Eduardo. Eduardo. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Carla Escobar. Arbaita is not here. Okay, as I told you before, what we are going to do is uh, if it's a review about the, la the last class. Do you remember that we were talking about uh, Jerome? And at the beginning, we start reading something. But in this case, I, I would like you tell me some sentences uh, using gerunds. Do you remember the reading that, that, that we practiced yesterday? ¿Se recuerdan de la lectura que vimos el día de ayer? Ya se les olvidó. No les creo. No, teacher, yo venía manejando. La de Natalie Cabal. Natalie, okay. Like, okay. The okay. one that missed, uh, that didn't read, they are going to read today. Lo que no leyeron ayer, you are going to read today. Así que, please, I need that you do it today. Please. My goodness, what's going on? Teacher, mande, mande la... La, la lectura del grupo para imprimirlo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. That's why I'm going to share it with you. Primero la vamos a compartir por acá, por este medio. Ok. Y hoy, como ya lo habíamos leído, lo vamos a leer más rápido. Hello, my name is Natalie. I like playing volleyball and basketball, but I have swimming. I am I'm good at playing the piano, but I'm not good at playing the guitar. My best friend Kate likes playing the guitar. I can't stand listening to the guitar. I really dislike it. She is good at playing. <clears throat> Sorry. Lo siento, lo siento, teacher, que creí que tenía el, el micrófono en, en mute. Sí, está encendido, le estamos oyendo. Ah, perdón. Ya, yeah, continuo. Ah, ok. Uh, she is good at playing musical instruments. My mother likes cooking. And she is really good at it. I like everything she cooks for me. She likes drawing, drawing picture and painting in her free time. She is very talented. Aha, uh -huh, okay. How I tell you the last, to pronounce the last word, this one. I see Walter, Walter. Could okay, you read sir. it, Walter? Could you read it, Walter, please? Okay, okay. Hello, my name is Natalie. I like playing. Mm, volleyball and basketball, but I hate 
swing. I good at playing to piano, but I am not good at playing the guitar. My best friend Kate likes playing the guitar. I can stand listening to the guitar. I really dislike it. She's good at playing musical instruments. My mother like, likes cooking and she's really good at it. I like everything she cooks for me. She likes driving pictures and painting in her free time. She is very talented. Okay. Teacher. Hello. ¿Cuál sería la pronunciación correcta de esa palabra drawing? Drawing. 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 Thank you. Drawing. What else? What else? Another words? Okay, let me see how how okay. Okay, uh, could you could you please uh, make a screenshot in order to see the the people that are raising uh, their hands? Podrían hacer una captura para poder ver yo quiénes son los que están levantando la mano, porque solo solo veo el número, but not the names, and I need to know the names. Okay, is done? Yes, Okay, Blanca, Elizabeth. Ready, please. Hello, my name is... Hello, my name is Natalie. I like playing volleyball and basketball. But I have seen it. I go to play in the piano. Do but I'm not good at playing the guitar. My best friend Kate likes playing the guitar. I can listen to the guitar. I really dislike it. She is good at playing musical instrument. My mother likes cooking and she is very good at it. I like everything she cook for me. She, she likes uh, picture and painting is her return. She is a talent. Okay. Any question about some words? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia drawing? Drawing. 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 No, drawing. Teacher, ¿y qué drawing. significa? Ah, it's a good question. In the context, en el contexto, she likes drawing pictures. Drawing means, let me see my camera is off. Okay, drawing is, uh, how can I explain you? Like, if I'm doing this, what am I doing? I'm drawing. Take a look, take a look. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Estoy? Dibujando. Excelente. Drawing. For, for that reason, uh, the sentence says, she likes drawing pictures. Drawing pictures. See? She likes drawing pictures and painting in her free time. Okay. Pero tiene más de un significado, teacher. Yeah, all depends on the context. Porque también puede ser dibujo. Ahí depende del, del, del contexto. And sometimes 
uh, you need to remember the a word we can use it uh, in different scenarios. Podemos usar una palabra en diferentes escenarios with different meaning. Okay, uh, as soon as the rest is reading, en lo que los demás están leyendo, you can uh, you can keep it reading and ask for a word if you have some doubts. Si tiene alguna duda, uh, tan pronto termine de leer la persona que está leyendo, you can write your hand and ask me the question. Okay, Carlos Javier, do it now, please. Thank you, teacher. Uh, hello, my name is Natalie. I like playing volleyball and basketball, but I had a swimming. I'm good at playing the piano, but I'm not good at playing the guitar. My best friend Kate likes playing the guitar. I can't stand listening to the guitar and really dislike it. She's good at playing musical instruments. My mother likes cooking and she's really good at it. I like everything she cooks for me. She likes drew pictures and fighting in her fright time. She's very talented. Okay. Eh, ninguna pregunta. No question. No question, teacher. Ah, ah, okay. No question at all. Let me see, Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Hello. Tell me. Uh, I'm reading. Hello, my name is Natalie. I like playing volleyball and basketball, but I hate swimming. I'm good at playing the piano, but I am not good at playing the guitar. The be my best friend, Kay, likes playing the guitar. I can't stand listening to guitar. I really dislike it. She is good at playing musical instrument. My mother likes cooking and she is really good at it. I like everything. She likes drawing, picture and painting. In her free time, she is very talented. Okay, let me see. I need that you repeat the following words. Hate. Can you repeat it, please? Hate. Hello. Hate. 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 The lady, the lady that was reading. What is it? What is it? Que se me hizo. I don't see it. I don't see it here. Lost the connection? What happened? Who was reading, Maria Elena? Hi, yes, teacher. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to uh, clarify some words in the reading. At the moment that the person was reading, but I hate swimming, hate. Hate swimming. Hate. Hate. Guitar. 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 Hair. 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 Painting in her free time. Painting in free time. In her free time. In her free time. Yes. Okay, somebody else. Me teacher. Luis Alfonso. Me too, teacher. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Pero no como dijo aquel. 
You too. <laughs> Sino que me too, okay. Yes. Okay, do Después it, de Don Luis. Después de Don Luis. <laughs> ah, okay. Yo lo voy a regañar a todos ahora. No me digan Don Luis que me es más viejo, por favor. Okay. <laughs> Hello, hello. My name is Natalie. I like playing volleyball, volleyball and basketball, but I hate swimming. I'm good at playing the piano, but I'm not good at playing the guitar. My best friend Kate likes playing the guitar. I can't stand listening to the guitar. I really dislike it. She is good at playing musical instruments. My mother likes cooking, and she is really good at it. I like everything she cooks for me. She likes drawing pictures and painting in her free time. She likes drawing pictures and painting in her free time. She is very talented. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Continue, please. Hello, my name is Natalie. I like playing volleyball and basketball, but I have swimming. I'm good at, at playing the piano, but I'm not good at playing the guitar. My best friend, Kay, likes playing the guitar. I can stand listen, listen to the guitar. I really dislike it. She is good at playing musical instrument. My mother likes cooking and she's really good at it. I like everything she, she cooks for me. She likes drawing pictures and painting in her free time. She is very talented. I got a question. I got a question for you. Do you know what is the what is the meaning of the expression I can stand listen to the guitar? Que no quiere comenzar. What is the meaning of the expression I can stand? Es que no puede entender. Excuse me? Que no puede estar escuchando la guitarra. Okay, eso sería in a polite way. But what about in a colloquial way? Imagine that somebody tell you, I can stand you. What is the meaning? No soporto. Yes, it is, sir. See? That's right. Okay, now based on the example, I would like to hear some of you that you use the information and you are going to use your own name, but at the same time, you are going to switch the activities according to your own way. For example, if somebody said, I like playing the guitar or playing the violin, or I like listening to music. And yeah, you talk about what you like and what you dislike. For example, I could say, hello, my name is Mark. I like uh, reading books and, and practicing. Uh, could be jogging, but I hate, uh, Soccer, for example. Yeah, and you start doing that way. You are not going to give me uh, or, or tell me a, a big paragraph, but just try to do it with your own words. Based on the example, who wants to try to do that? Veamos. ¿Quién quiere hacer la prueba? But with your own information. Con su propia información. Ok. 
Hello. Are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Teacher, sería como repetir este mismo, este, mismo, este mismo párrafo, pero con nuestra propia información personal. Adaptar el párrafo a su propia información. You are going to adapt the information. And you are going to talk about likes in this thing, what you don't like or what you hate. But trying to do, um, trying to do it uh, using the structure that we are uh, remembering in this case. And hurry, and hurry, sir. Para intentarlo entonces, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Let me see. Muy bien. Este, hello, my name is Javier Crespin. I like playing football, uh, soccer, and basketball, and swimming. I'm good at uh, playing the volleyball. I can uh, listen. Um, Flauta, no sé cómo, cómo flute, decirlo. Flute. Flute, ok. I really dislike. My brother is very good in basketball. And my best friend, Pablo. My mother eh, likes cooking and she is really good at it. And my brother, my brother eh, draw pictures and Fighting and her fright time. She is very talented. He is. If you are going to, if you are talking about your brother, he is. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. He is. Okay. okay, nice try. Nice. Nice. Not necessary that you are going to use all the word that we have in the paragraph. But the most important situation here is that you be able to do it. Okay, thank you very much. Let us switch. Let me see where I have it here. Okay, I'm going to switch uh, and I'm going to show you this. Let me see where, hold on a second. Hold on a second, please. Okay, another thing that we need to, to, to remember uh, is the vocabulary that we studied yesterday related to different accounting statements. Do you remember that? Could you tell me some words that you remember? Just a few words that you remember. about the vocabulary that I share with you. Hello. Hello. Teacher, the consolidate, the vocabulary. Yeah, consolidate balance sheet. Current assists. Lo voy a leer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about the, uh, the vocabulary that I shared with you yesterday. Do you remember that that I sent you uh, uh, in your WhatsApp group? No. No, no del grupo de WhatsApp, no recuerdo. Yes, I shared it with you. Quizás ya estaba dormida, teacher. No, I was at the beginning of the class. <laughs> okay, uh, let me ask. Uh, ah, sí, sí, ya me acordé de, de, del archivo que envió de Word. 
Ah, ok. Y después dicen que es el teacher el que no manda nada. No, yo le dije que estaba dormida, no le dije que fue usted. Que yo me duermo, teacher. Ay, sí, ay, sí. Now I see Bien. what what's the happened. statement of financial posi position assets assets. Yeah, different word. Mm -hmm. We have different words. Asset, cash and cash But, equivalent or marker okay, table. Okay, 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 okay. But, but what I want is just to make a review and know if you remember some of the names. Si usted, lo que quiero saber es cuántos de esos términos se recuerdan with the C in the material. Tell me. Let us remember. How many terms do you remember that? ¿Cuántos términos de eso se recuerda? That is the main point. Just tell me. Me, teacher. Okay, just tell me. In my case, for example, I remember this, I remember this. My, uh, okay, in my case, I remember, I remember uh, cash and equivalent. Total current asset, common stock, and more teacher. What else? What else? What else? Total current liabilities, account payable, uh -huh. foreign, la foreign, la foreign liability, stockholder equity. Okay. A lot of words. I like that. It's uh, good. Mark teacher. That's it? Only that teacher. Thank you. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, somebody else? Oh, balance sheet. Yes, inventory. Los liabilis, no sé cómo se dice. ¿Cómo se dice? Liabilis. No sé cómo se dice. ¿Cuál No, los. Liabilis. Los, ¿cómo se llama? Los pasivos, ¿no? ¿Cómo se, cómo se pronuncia? I will. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, hello, teacher. One time, ah. Uh... It looks like I'm alone. Parecía ese que me quedo solo por ratos. I don't know why. No, teacher. No, Because teacher. at the beginning I start, I start listening to you, but suddenly uh, the, your voice sound in a different way, you know? I don't know why, what happened. Something is happening. Maybe the aliens. The aliens are doing something. Son los extraterrestres. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that is happening. Okay, but if we talk about uh, the balance sheets, uh, how important is the cash and equivalent in a balance sheet? What can you tell me about it?
tiene el control de su empresa, si está ganando o está perdiendo. Ah, ok, 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 ok. For that reason, I need that you understand the meaning of this term in Spanish. Because imagine that suddenly you need to take a look of a balance, balance sheet. You need to understand what is the concept. Te necesitamos saber cuál es el concepto para saber la cantidad de dinero y si está en the right position. El, el expert, expert in this topic is uh, Mr. Martinez, is the expert of this topic. Is that true, Mr. Martinez? Yes, sir. Yeah, you see? That is the man, that sorry, is the man. Sorry, I don't hear the question, sir. Excuse me? Don't hear the question. You didn't got the question. Ah, okay. Well, no, what I, what I was telling is that, that you are the expert in this situation, talking about balance sheet and different topic, you know? Okay, let us try to see this. Uh, this is a different one. Let me get it bigger. Don't worry about the color red, but I got a mix of uh, English and Spanish. My computer is in English. For that reason, I'm getting that kind of, okay, but don't worry about that. It's okay. We have, we need to have clear what is a financial statement. Ya sabemos que son los estados financieros, consolidate financial statement. Estados financieros consolidados, balance sheet, uh, statement of financial position, asset, carrying asset, cash, marketable securities, uh, account receivables, not receivables. That means we are going to find out different kind of uh, term here. But what we need to do is just to take a look at maybe to the main uh, vocabulary that we have in the balance sheet that is presented in, in the book. Because we, are, we have a lot of words like inventory, prepaid, expensive, uh, and other current assets, long-term asset, investments, long-term receivables, fit asset, and so on. But if we take a look at the book, right here, we are going to see that one of the characteristics of the balance sheet is uh, that had to be neat and clear. Una de las características que tiene el balance es que debe estar bien ordenado, limpio, nítido. In order that uh, everyone who wants to read it be able to understand it. For example, in this case, we have the date, January 21st, 2016, to January 30th. First, yeah, 2017. That means we are talking about one year. And this way, we can see exactly what somebody says. Aquí podemos ver exactamente what is happening with the company. If we are getting uh, enough money or not, if we are earning money or if we, if we are losing money. Si estamos uh, obteniendo ganancias o pérdidas, you know? But yesterday I asked you a question. How, um, how many of you work in the, in the accounting area in your company? Only Mr. Martinez or somebody else? Repetition, please. 
The question is, if some of you work in the area of accounting in your companies. Si Hágamela en español. Se le entiendo, pero hágamela en español, teacher, por favor. Pregunto que si algunos de ustedes trabajan en el área de contabilidad de sus empresas. No. Thank you, teacher. Ok. No. No. No, teacher. No, no teacher. Ah, ok. Teacher. Ah. Only Mr. Martinez. Yes, I do. El, el experto. Yeah, he, he, oh, yeah, that is what I was telling you. He's the expert. Él es el experto. Él es el experto. But uh, you need to know. A little bit. Excuse me. A little bit, teacher. Okay. But we need to learn uh, some term related to different uh, topic. You know? The only way that we can create our own vocabulary is just studying, studying, and studying. No matter if you right now are not working in a, in the accounting area, you know. Okay, and yesterday we talked about exercise number three. Uh, we were trying to solve some um, addition and also we talk about the total of assets and liabilities and you gave me an a total an amount about that you know do you remember that hello 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, Can you repeat the question, please? Do you have a question? Can you repeat, please? The question? Yes. Es que usted dijo que si recordábamos el qué. Que si recordábamos yeah, el ejercicio de ayer dijo, ¿verdad? Yeah, if you remember the activity that we did after we started the, the, this terminology, we were doing some additions. Estuvimos haciendo algunas sumas. Do you remember that? Yes. Era uh, la suma de la habilidad más el total de hacer. Okay, in Spanish is pretty good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher es que yo no hablo en inglés. Yeah, ya but sabe, we, hey, yo estoy aprendiendo. Yeah, but we, we are in the process. And that's, that is really important. Okay, but, but another question is this. In the area, where are you working? Are you, do you have to, to use a calculator or something like that? Or you don't need it? No, no teacher. Yo he trabajado con documentos de banco, pero no directo en el área contable, sino que trabajé en una empresa que les hacía documentos a ellos. Okay. Por eso fue que yo le dije de números cualquier cosa, pero no así, no, no la contabilidad, sino que eran números, pero era distinto porque era el dinero de ellos. No bookkeeping, no bookkeeping. Teacher, I'm sorry. My profession is, uh, is accountant, uh, pero en español, en inglés, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the terminology is uh, almost the same. Yeah, it is the same because uh, we need to follow the same step, the same rules. Teacher, pero es que leyendo las indicaciones. The same method. It is same. It is same. It is same. It is same because I don't. I don't understand your indication. Okay, in English. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes, I got it. I got yes. it. Thank you, teacher. But but the methods, if we say it in English and in Spanish, it is it is the same. 
also the same. Generalmente, eh, los métodos, eh, por ejemplo, si hablamos de método PER, de método, eh, son, son los mismos, ¿no? El, es el mismo proceso. Lo que cambia son los términos, que en uno están en español y el otro están en inglés. En we need to, that is what we need to know. Eso es lo que necesitamos saber. Pues, uh, some, sí. some, some, somebody was a uh, worry about this topic. Alguien estaba preocupada sobre este tema y me dijo, ¿y será que we are going to study bookkeeping the rest of the, the module? <laughs> Así me dijo alguien, ¿y será que vamos a estudiar contabilidad todo el resto del módulo? And I say, no, what we are doing is just getting some new vocabulary. Estamos in my case, teacher, this topic, this topic is very important for me, okay? okay. I, I know, I know, I know much it is uh, in vocabulary, everybody, okay? In my case, teacher, I say is that for, es que yo soy más empírica que de estudio. A mí no me pregunte de términos, a mí diga, me tiene que hacer eso y, y ya. Pero si me dice de, de definiciones y de cosas así, eso no, no sé. Lo mismo que le dije la vez pasada, que eso hasta en el español, en el español usted me da unas respuestas y me diga, ármeme, ese, ármeme esa pregunta, yo no se lo voy a hacer. Entonces yo soy así, más, más empírica que estar estudiando términos. Mm. Okay. Voy a hacer una partida conta, una partida doble, pero no sabe que es una partida doble. But she resolved. No, al decirle así dice que no, pero ella resuelve el ejercicio. De ¿Eh? todos modos, teacher, eso solo mete datos en las computadoras y a ellas le resuelven todo. Solo tiene que saber qué datos va a meter a dónde y ya estuvo. Ahí va. Mm. You see, Mr. Martinez, you see what no, happened now? No, it's no, it's, it's the opinion of Elizabeth is no, teacher, no. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 sorry, it's, sorry, it's sorry, not. My, my, my profession is, my, uh, sorry, uh, my profession is, is, uh, uh, tiene una responsabilidad bien grande. Yeah. Uh, Dígamelo en inglés, por favor. Yeah, you have a big responsibility, a huge uh, responsibility. Yes, and, and, and no es solo, solo de lo que dice él y meter, la, meter las cuentas en el, en el sistema. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Les explico en español, sí. Eh, yo soy contador desde 1986. Okay. Ah, pues sí, de los buenos. Ah, pues sí, le creo, sí. don Luis. Vine trabajando a mano y hasta llegué a la computadora y me da risa porque lo que antes, lo que antes hacía en tres días, hoy lo hago en media hora. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. En, en español, porque en inglés no se lo voy a decir, ok. And, and remember uh, the history of the bookkeeping in El Salvador uh, was a, a very special school in San Salvador. Viendo la historia de la contabilidad en El Salvador, cómo, cómo comenzó la escuela de contadores en, en San Salvador. Eso fue uh, algo impresionante, ¿no? Porque como no existían, sino que eran tenedores de libros. I have, I have read about that, too. Leímos la historia, la historia de cómo, what happened. But going back again to the topic, uh, let us talk now about the zero conditional. Do you remember what we talked yesterday about, the, about this? What can you tell me about it? Are you able to give me an example if you remember it? I told you to, to write down some examples. For example, I, no. Okay, first of all, I... uh, before you give me an example, 
I need that somebody explain me the structure that we are going to follow to create sentences using uh, the, the zero conditional. Because we are talking about a theory condition. Just tell me. Teacher, la asistencia. The assistant. Yes, teacher. The assistant. Llevo atrasado un minuto mi compu, porque hasta ahorita tengo las nueve. Las nueve y dos tengo yo. Ah, okay. It's a good watch. Let me see if we have enough people here, a lot of people. Okay, Beatriz. Present. Uh, Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Antonio. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present, teacher. Claudio. Present. Denise. Grisel. Present, teacher. Eh, Giovanni. Present. Eh, Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Martínez Pérez. Martínez Pérez, María Elena, Nelson, Nelson, teacher. Eh, Omar, teacher. Present. Okay. Oscar, Present teacher. Walter, Present teacher. Jenny, Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Carlos Javier, Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Carla Marisol. Carla Marisol is not here. Hello, Carla, Carla, Carla. Calling to Marisol, calling to Marisol. No, no responding, Marisol. Hello, Marisol, are you there? No, she's not here. Okay, try to remember what I what I told you and, and give me an explanation about the zero condition. The structure. The yeah, the structure, the structure. Part. And based on that, we are going to start talking about, okay? Here is it. Um, like present simple, um, and um, present simple. Okay, now can you give me an example? No, okay, don't worry about it. Take a look at this. I got a question. What happens if if you throw a ball in the air, it falls down? Remember that we are going to use the zero conditional to talk about fat, you know? Something that is real. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls down. Do you understand the example? In Spanish or structure? In both way, in Spanish and also the structure that we have. Yes. What about this? I, I show you another example, but related with this one. What happened if, if you, if you want to be sure, you can ask the question, what happened if 
If you boil water, it's turned into steam. Okay, and now tell me, what happened if, if you don't work one month? Tell me. What happened if you don't work one month? Create I this sentence. I so don't pay my salary. I don't have money. Yeah, but I need that you create the whole sentence. Necesito que creen la oración completa desde el condicionante. How is going to start? ¿Cómo va a iniciar? If I don't... Okay, only one, only one, only one, only one. Raise your hand and tell me. Solo uno, levanta su manita y me dice cómo. Veamos, María Elena. Um, if I don't job a month, I don't eat. Okay, could be. Okay, somebody else? Because every one of you have a different perplexity. What about you, Eduardo? Can you tell me something? Repeat the, the question, teacher, please. Ah, okay. What I'm saying is this. Uh, I am going to mention the question that I show you. Yo voy a mencionar la pregunta que les mostré, que es la que está en la parte de arriba. What happened if? ¿Qué sucede si? Yeah? In this case, I said, okay, what happened if you don't work one month? ¿Qué sucede si usted no trabaja un mes? Okay, you are going to create a sentence. Tell me. No voy a tener dinero. No, 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 no. Tell me in English. Tell me in English. Using the structure that we are studying. Yeah. Is. Um, no, it's. Okay, lo agarré. Um, Eh, fuera de cancha, fuera de cancha. Bueno, bueno ya. Yeah. Teacher. Tell me. If I work a month, I don't have money. If I don't work. Sí. If I don't work a month, I don't have money. Okay, I don't have money. Omar Hernández. If I don't work. I have no I come. I got your idea. If I don't work, I don't have incomes. Okay. Okay, excellent. Somebody else. Eso así necesito que se despierten, se despierten. Me teacher. Tell me. If I don't work one month, I don't have money for pay my bills. Okay. I'm going to switch the, the question. What happened if you don't pay your bills? Do you understand the question? Yes, sir. Okay, somebody. I don't understand the verb. Tell me, Maria. I don't understand the verb. Ah, okay. What happened if you don't pay your bills? Talking about power, talking about water. Uh, internet services, 
en Sopón. Cuarto Uy, sí, me cortan el servicio. Ah, sí. Te voy a preguntar. <risa> they cut, they cut my cut, services. Cut. ¿Ah? Esa palabra they se cut. usa, teacher. Cut. No, no, no. Ok, hold on, hold on. But, but first of all, what I want is that you use the structure. We need to use the structure. How is going to be? Teacher, sorry, teacher, please give me give me the structure. I'm sorry, don't remember. Okay. You, you don't remember the structure? Okay. First of all, you need to put the word if. That is the condition. Okay. If I then don't pay remember. my bill. Okay. Then... I put of service. Okay, you can say in this way, if I don't pay my bills, if I don't pay my bill, they send me extra charges. ¿Cómo se escribe, then? E extra charges. Charges. Cargos extras. Okay, uh, going back with uh, Mr. Martinez. If, then you are going to use the, the personal pronoun. Then the verb. Let me show you if I have something here in order that you can understand better. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me show you one example. Okay, take a look at this. All of you, if we mix yellow and red, we get orange. The structure is if Personal pronoun, uh, the form of the verb, and a kind of complement. And then we start uh, with the pronoun, the verb, and, and the, the complement again. And also we can say we get orange if we mix yellow and red. The same happened in the next example. If you throw a ball in the air, it fall down. What about if I want to switch the position or the, or the second one? Somebody wants to tell me how? Si quiero cambiar la posición de la, del segundo ejemplo, ¿cómo sería? Hello. Let me see if you are there. Ah, yes, you are. Teacher, pero cuando, cuando habla de cambiar, ¿a qué se refiere? Cambiar cuando hablo de cambiar, de... tengo, uh, I have two uh, clubs. Tengo dos cápsulas. Tengo la cápsula donde va el if, que es la condición, Y tengo el resultado. Hagamos un ejemplo en español, así rápido. De dos cápsulas. And I'm going to start with a question. What happened if? ¿Qué pasa si usted no le llama a su esposa o a su esposo durante todo el día? Ok, haga la oración en inglés. Me pega en la noche cuando... No, 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 en inglés, sir, en inglés. La oración que usted ha dicho, a pasarla al inglés. The answer. ¿Cómo sería? Teacher, pero es que the answer es violent. Excuse me. Maybe if I don't speak with my husband all day, my husband, um, Uh, okay, it's very easy. 
It's better if you say, if I don't call, if I don't call to my wife, what is the result? What is the result? ¿Cuál es el resultado? Excuse me. If I don't call my wife during the day, she won't worry. Ah, she get, I, she, I sleep, she get I sleep, worried. I sleep uh, out of house. <laughs> but, but I need that you create the whole sentence. Necesito que haga la oración completa donde me diga, if I don't call my wife. Okay. Okay, uh, If I don't call my wife uh, in, in, in the day. Como sería? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the day, I I sleep in <laughs> in the hammock. <laughs> I sleep in the street. Le toca dormir en la en la hamaca. No, en la calle, sí, esta parte. Ah, uh, on, on the street, on the street. Yes. Qué cruel, qué cruel. Debemos de crear ciudad hombre. Don't know, don't know, hit food teacher. Okay, but, but create a sentence. If, if I don't, um, como era la pregunta, teacher? If, if I, if I, if I, if I don't, don't know, repeat teacher, no me recuerdo. No. If I don't call my wife during the date. If I don't call my, my call, wife. Call. call my 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 wife. During the day. I have problem at night. Easy. <laughs> Alguien dijo así, usted creo que fue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, Omar, want to say something? Yes. Okay. If, Before you start, not, not necessarily you can use the same example. You can use another. But if you want to okay. talk about the same situation, go ahead. Okay. If I don't call my wife on day, she goes. She? Goes. Se preocupa. Uh -huh. but, but it's missing the, the main there, there. O sea, si no le llaman el día, ella se, se preocupa. Eh, haya sucedido algo. Yeah, but, but she would be, she is worried. Worries, yes. She is worried. Worries. Okay. Okay. okay, and now create another one. For example, if you say, uh, let me see, if I don't do my homework, what happens if you don't you don't do your homework? Teacher, uh, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me, Amber. En este, en este, en este tipo de oraciones, el verbo no sufre ningún cambio. Mm. All depend, all depend, because if we are talking, if we are talking about that third singular person, maybe you are going to add S. Let me show you some examples. Repeat, please. Repeat, please. Okay, la pregunta de él fue que si en este tipo de oraciones el verbo sufre cambios. Do you remember this that I show you? Yes? No? No, se usa el verbo presente simple. Okay, but let me show you once in a third singular person. Let me see if I have one here, not to show you this. Okay, I got it here. 
Yeah, it is true what you are saying, Nebo. If I am late for class, my teacher gets, I got an inflection here. Pero eso es porque se está hablando de una tercera persona. Sí, eso es lo que preguntó él. Que si los verbos sufren cambios en este tipo de oraciones. Entonces, for that reason, I'm showing this example. Sí, porque los verbos van a ser usados en presente simple en ambas, en ambas cláusulas. Ya sea en la de if o ya sea en la otra. Porque una es la condición y otra es el resultado. Okay. For example, in this case, if it rains and I don't have an umbrella, I get wet. If people eat too much, they get fat. But what about if uh, instead of people I have uh, here is she? Si yo tuviese aquí, en vez de people, tengo she, entonces para decir, if she eats, what I need to add in the, in the verb eat? ¿Qué necesito agregarle al eat? Es. Ah, <laughs> the letter S. If she eats too much, she gets fat. Ok, respondido a su pregunta, caballero. I don't know if you have another question. Pero en este tipo de oraciones no puede haber verbos en pasado, ¿verdad? No, no. Por eso se llama el cero condicionante. Una de las condiciones que tiene él es que los verbos se mantienen en presente simple. Ok, thank you. Ya en otro tipo de que ya no es cero, sino que es primero, ya hay una combinación de tiempos del presente al futuro. Y así van cambiando de acuerdo al... Porque de estos condicionantes está el cero conditional, a fair conditional, second conditional, third conditional, mixed conditional, but in your level, you just need to start it as zero conditional. Okay, but I need that you give me some examples. I need that you give me more examples about it. Necesito que me den eh, más ejemplos. Y Jeremy is down to work. They don't pay my salary. Is okay. correct. Okay, repeat again the, the fair phrase. If, if don't go to work. Ah, you are missing the personal pronoun. If I, if I... All right. If I don't to work. Okay. If I don't go, if I don't go to work. Go to work. Yes. To work. They don't pay my salary. They don't pay my salary. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else? Omar, do you want to say something? Teacher, if I don't work, I don't have it. If I don't work, I don't have it. I don't have. It. I don't have it. What is the meaning? No trabajo, no tengo comida. Ah, uh, if I don't work, I don't have food. I food. Okay. Yes. Thank you for coming. I don't have food. Okay, what else? Teacher, no sé si está bien. If I run a lot, I get tired. If, si, si corro mucho, me, me canso. if I run a lot, I get tired. I get tired. Okay, what else? Ember Giovanni Polio Morales? Um, 
if I don't sleep tonight, um, I I am tired tomorrow. I feel tired. Okay. I feel tired tomorrow. I feel tired tomorrow. Okay. Another one. If I don't present the report, if I don't present the report, okay, give me, give me, give me the compliment. If you don't report, um, we don't pass the second level. The next level. Could be. By talking in your job, if you don't present the report, what happens? Carlos? Um, I, I don't get up early. Uh, I have been late for work. If I don't get early. Be late for the work. I am late. I am late. I am late. Yeah, we work. start we started the example. Okay, let, let, let me show you more in order that you remember it, please. For example, somebody say, if I study too much, I get really tired. They're very simple. It is like, if I ask you, what happened if you don't study? Um, what else? What happened if you don't uh, take your breakfast? Tell me. I have hungry. But I need that you create the whole the whole sentence. Tell me. Uh, the sentence complete. Yeah, the complete sentence. What happened? Okay. If you don't say your breakfast. If I not take the breakfast, if, pardon, pardon. If I don't take breakfast, I have angry. Ah. Okay, ojo con esa respuesta. Maybe I have a stomach fish. But I need that you create a whole thing. If I, if I, if I, if I don't take my breakfast, I feel weak. I feel dizzy. I feel dizzy, you know, you know what is dizzy? Uh, me faltó el verbo, ¿verdad? Yes. But do you know what is the word dizzy? I feel hungry. Yes. ¿Saben lo que significa dizzy? Yes. Mareo. <laughs> yeah, you feel dizzy. If you don't. Okay, what else? But related with your with your job, relacionelo con su trabajo. Veamos. Tell me. If you don't want to talk about your job, okay, don't worry about it. But, but I need that you create Teacher one. example. Excuse me? Teacher example. Do you if want to give? don't Do have a, at work, I don't have money. 
If I don't have a job, I don't have money. Okay. What about if I say, if I don't practice my English, what is the compliment? I don't learn. Okay, somebody else? Mire, hay tantas cosas, tantas condiciones que les han puesto o nos han puesto y ahora no se recuerdan de ninguna. No sé qué, le, qué nos está pasando. For my job. Not necessarily related, but if you want to relate, it's, it's going to be better. If I don't respect the policies, institutionals, they fire me. Okay, if I don't respect the policies, they fire me. Okay. What else? If we don't sell, we don't meet the goals. Uh-huh. If we don't sell, sell, we don't meet the goals. We don't reach the goal. Okay. If it's, it is like if somebody say, if we don't produce, Si no producimos, ah, okay. What else? Tell me more, tell me more, please. Mira que ya habíamos pasado este tema y it's not clear now. Carlos Javier. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Sorry, teacher. Tell me. Yo lo tengo así, no sé si estará, no sé si estará buena. Es, hey, let, let us see. I, I, if I don't work as steam, it will be difficult to finish the work. Repeat again, repeat again, please. I, if I don't work as a team. Ah, it will, okay, I got it, I got it. If I don't work as a team. If okay. It will be difficult to finish the work. Sí, la oración está bien. The problem is that is a uh, it doesn't belong to the zero conditional. Lo único que no pertenece al cero condicionante. ¿Por qué? Porque you are mixing the present and the future. And the, in zero conditional, we use just simple present in both close. En ambas cápsulas usamos nosotros. El presente simple. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, take a look at this example. I show you this, I remember. Teacher, tengo uno, no sé si. Bueno, ahí me corrige. If I don't, if I don't answer the phone, the student told to my manager. If I don't answer the phone, the, stu the student told to my manager. The student talk or talk. Tell. In this case, going to be tell to the manager. Tell. Yeah, de acuerdo a lo que usted está diciendo. Mm -hmm. Que ellos le van a contar. <laughs> yes. manager, okay. They all depend, all depend. All depend because if you are in your free time, if you don't answer the form, it's not going to be your fault. But all depend. Okay, do you remember this example? If people eat lots of candies. Mm, they are gain weight. They gain weight. No gain, no gaining, okay? Because we know exactly that we need to use the simple present. If I wake up late, I am late for work. I, I am late for work. You are late for work. Yes. But I have another example. Just I'm trying to remember you. When it is cold, I always wear a jacket. 
I always wear a jacket, okay? If I don't have much money. Hey. I don't, I don't eat out. I don't I eat out. I don't, I don't eat, eat out. out. Okay. When you put water in the freezer, it freezes, okay? It freezes. Good job. But let me see another example. Okay, now that we have a talk about this topic, the question is that if you are able to create your own sentence using this kind of uh, conditional. It is possible for you to do that or not? Yeah. Okay, quiero oírlos, a que los que no he oído, por favor. Ya es time. It is time to hear you. Me, teacher. Uh, if we work as a team, we finish the job. Okay. Excellent. What else? Somebody else? In meditation. If we don't stay the sanitary measure due to the COVID-19, we get sick. Is correct. If we... If we don't take sanitary measure due to the COVID night, <coughs> we, we get sick. We get sick, okay. It's very future. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, please. If I don't drink water, I get disease, it's okay. If I don't drink water, I, I get, get six. Disease. Yes, that's it. Okay. What else? Me teacher. Okay, tell me. If I finish the, the libraries, I complete my route for this day. Ah, okay. Okay, somebody else. Somebody else, tell me, please. Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Okay. Y este tipo de oraciones puede ser positiva o negativa, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, uh, corríjame si está bien o no. If I drink coffee, I feel good all day. If? If I drink coffee. If I drink coffee. I feel good all day. I don't gosh the last, the last uh, close. If I drink coffee. I feel good all day. Ah, I feel good all day, okay. If I drink coffee, I feel good all day. Okay, and one is the condition and the another one is the result. Teacher, teacher, una, una, una. Oscar, Oscar, tell me, Oscar. When I drink beers, I don't drive my car. When I drink beers, ah, okay, I got it. When you drink beer, you don't drive your car. Okay, es bueno que tenga eh, conciencia social. No, no, sí, sí, es, eso es, pero, pero se le llama conductor designado al que anda allá a la par que no toma. No, en esos términos sí. Y vamos a por lo que uno, y vamos a por lo que uno. Este sí estaba excelente, teacher. Hola. Please. 
Ah, eso eh, ahí rapidito. Está algunos, excelente. algunos ahí, eh, como fue ese ejemplo, it, it called my attention. Ok. <laughs> Dos más, por favor. Ah, two more. <laughs> no. Ok, somebody else, please. Somebody else. ¿Alguien más? Mi teacher, mi teacher. Ok, chao, me sé. What happens if I don't hacer, teacher? ¿Cómo se hace? ¿Cómo sí. se dice? Hacer, to, to do. What happens if you don't do? Si usted no hace. The payroll. Ah, ok. What happens if... Ajá. Uh -huh. What happens if I don't do the payroll? I have to pay a charge because that is my responsibility. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now it's better if you say, if I don't, if I don't do the payroll? Yes. What is the I result? Have, I have to pay a charge. Because that the employees, the employees get mad. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Could be in that way too. Yes. Podría ser en esa forma también. Si no hago la planilla, todos los empleados. Lo tiene varios, ir. tiene varias, tiene varias salidas, por decirlo así. Yes. Okay, teacher, thank you. Si no hace el payroll, lo van a linchar. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Teacher, tengo tengo una al revés. Perdón. Okay, inverse. Usted, usted me dice, eh, my son gets a gift if he has good grades. Ok, ahora switch it. Ahora cámbiala. Eh, sería If my son has good grade, he gets a gift. Okay. If my son If gets, my son has good grade. Ok, hold on, hold on. If my son gets good grade, I, I give a gift. I give a uh, okay. I give a yeah, gift. could be in that way too. Yeah. Esas son las condiciones. Grade is not a teacher. Grade, grade. Grade is a trigger. In this topic, we have a lot of examples. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the last exercise that we I need to get the use of it. We are going to do it uh, here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yes? Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. I got an example. Not rain, the flower die. The example said, if, if it doesn't rain, the flower died. What happened if it doesn't rain? ¿Qué pasa si no llueve? Tell me. Flower died. No, I need that you tell me the whole equation. Las dos cápsulas. Necesito que me digas. The flower died if it doesn't rain. No, ¿cuál es dos cápsulas? This one. This is one. <clears throat> Esta es la clápsula de leaf. And this one is the result. This one is the result. Este sería el result. Pero entonces le entendí mal porque yo entendí que if it doesn't rise, the flower, the flower die. Y cuando usted dijo la otra cápsula, the flower die is if it doesn't rise. No era al revés. No, no, no. La situación was this. When I say what happened if 
uh, it doesn't rain, cuando yo dije, ¿qué pasa si no llueve? Suddenly, you get me only just this answer, the flower die, and I say, okay, I need that you tell me the another clause. Necesito que me diga la otra cláusula, es decir, la respuesta completa serían las dos cláusulas. If it doesn't rain, the flower die. Mm. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, let us start working on it. Uh, I made, if you, if you want, you can make a screenshot now, please. Si ustedes quieren, pueden hacer un screenshot. And later on, I'm going to send you that to your group. For what? But if you want, we can solve it now here. Okay. I guess it's this one, let me see. No, 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 no. I guess it's going to be better if I show you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I'm gonna share it with you here. Okay, if you if 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 you have the answer for number one, just tell me, please. If I wake up late, I let I am late for work. I I am late uh, for work. I, I am late for work. Okay. Okay, okay, excellent. What about the next one, please? The second one? A lady? A lady, please? Is the chair my husband puts his bar? It's uh, the food. Okay. Any inflection in the verb? Yeah. 
between two barrels. Cooks, burns. Ah, there it is. Cook. Okay, number three. Julie. If Julie doesn't wear a hat. If Julie doesn't wear a hat. Doesn't wear a hat. She gets some she stroke. gets some stroke. Ah, okay, excellent. What about number four? If children don't eat well, they are not healthy. They are not healthy. Okay, excellent. Number five. If you mix water and electric, you get a shock. You get a shock. You get a shock. Number six. Que es mix, que es mix. Mezclar. Mm. Okay. Mix. Number six, please. If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. Okay, we already talked about this example. If people eat too many sweets, they get, get fat. Teacher, yo le contesto porque nadie contesta. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Para que no se sienta solo. Para que no me sienta lonely. <laughs> Así como Kinsley. Ah, okay. <laughs> Así dice, solo me dejaste el baby, dice él. Pues sí, por algo lo dejaron solo. <laughs> Imagine. Ok, number, number seven. Number seven. If you are smoking, you get to know single. Okay, tell me, please, tell me. Can you repeat the number eight, please? Number seven, excuse me. If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. Okay. What about number eight? Number eight. These children, they also, they not get overweight. If children play upside, Side. They don't don't get overweight. Get overweight. Yes, because they run. They run. Okay, number nine. It's easy. It is easy. Number nine is easy. If you hit ice, it melts. If you hit I, it Mel melts. Melts. Number 10. If I speak to John, he gets any of any yet. I no no sé cómo se, se pronuncia eso. Enoy. Enoy. He get annoyed. I speak to young. 
he gets annoyed. If I speak to you and he gets annoyed. Gets. Remember yes. that he is the third singular person. Yes, yo dije gets. Okay, 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 okay. Only just. Let me see five more. Okay, only just five. Somebody else who wants to resolve number 11, please. One for each. If I feel good the next day, I go to be ill. Mm -hmm. If I feel good the next day, I go to bed early. Maybe teacher, if I go to bed early, I feel good the next day. If I go to bed early or when I go to bed early, I feel good the next, good day. The next day. Yeah, remember that we can use when also. También podemos usar la palabra when. Okay, what, what about number 12? Lot of people. Lot of people. Teacher, yeah, you say yeah, when lot of people come, Jenny, how a party? No. If. What is the meaning of the loves? Lot of people, muchas personas. When Jenny have a party, come come lots of people or oh, lots of people come if jenny have a party okay lots of people come a lot of people come a lot of people come okay number 13 Remember she that we can, goes, we can have he, a different option to give an answer. Goes, if she goes shopping, she, she buys expensive clothes. Mm, is, she, is she? If she, if she goes, if go, she goes shopping, she buys expensive Clothes. Expensive clothes. Clothes. Yeah, clothes. Okay, only one. Two, 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 two. Number four. My daughter passed her exam. She wore her. How is how is this? Hello. What about the rest of the class? Are you there? Yes, teacher. So what, what about the rest of the class? <laughs> Me, teacher. Yeah, it's sleeping. Oh, man. Okay, tell me. Uh, if my daughter were her, she passed her exam. If my daughter, if my daughter were her, she passed her exam. Okay. Another option? Otra opción. Okay, number four simply is David busy, he drink milk. It is the last one. This is this is going to be the last one, please. Tell me. Tell me the last one, please. Uh, 
Hello. And also in the number 13, you can say that uh, she buys expensive clothes. Yeah. Is she go shopping? And so on. remember that we need to switch. Tenemos que hacer el cambio en los, en los verbos. Okay. Eh, se los había enviado el ejercicio a uh, ahí, pero eh, lo eliminó. Sí, porque ahí estaban las respuestas y no iban a hacer nada, solo más que. Pero yo no las había visto, teacher. No, yo sé, yo sé que no las había visto, pero... No, yo no las había visto. Evitando, pero ahorita se las dejo a ella. Para que vean que no, no había una mala intención, ¿ok? Ok, ahí están las respuestas. Espero que les haya quedado claro el tema. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Let me check out the attendance, please, now. And uh, according to my list, I need to talk with Nelson today. Let me see. Nelson Gavarrete. Are you there, sir? Nelson. Nelson. Hello. Today is, your Hola. Hello. Today is your turn. Ahora yes. es su turno, de one by one. Okay, uh, Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Elizabeth. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo. Not here. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Uh, Christian. Present. Uh, Claudio. Present. Okay, uh, Ember. Present. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Luis. Present Alonso. Teacher. Here I am. Okay, I like that. Maria Elena. Yeah. Nelson. I'm here teacher. Omar. Present. Uh, Oscar. Present. Walter. Present, teacher. Jenny. Present. Carlos Javier. Teacher. Jose Eduardo. I'm here, teacher. Juan Carlos. I'm here. And Carla Marisol. Not here. Me mencionó, teacher. Grisel. Jesus. Yes. What happened with me? Let me see. I don't know. Yeah, Gris <laughs> Grisel Grisela. Yes, it's there. But, but it's, uh, okay. yeah, but I put it. I put the number one. See, ya está checada con la asistencia. I do really sorry. I apologize for that. Okay, thank you very much. Remember that, um, recuerden que, no sé si lo voy a hacer hoy o lo voy a hacer mañana temprano, pero tengo que enviar su reporte a las 8 de la mañana, ya debe estar su reporte. El día lunes solo haremos el review y es cuando haremos la encuesta. Por favor, nadie la vaya a llenar antes. Eh, Mil disculpas por lo que sucedió, ya les, me lo, se lo dije muchas veces. Eh, son cosas que están no en el bajo control de uno, sino que suceden así de repente, ¿no? Pero más creo de que fue interesante porque a pesar de que ya habíamos visto el tema, todavía habían algunas dudas y espero que les hayan quedado muy claras. Así es que espero verlos el lunes. Si ya sábado y domingo están de vacation, take care, don't drink so much, like Mr. Martinez said. Be careful if you drive, don't drink, and well, all the recommendations. Y recuerden que, bueno, he visto ahí que ya parece que van a aplicar las nuevas multas de tránsito. 
ustedes que saben mucho porque leen el, el diario más, díganme si es cierto o es, un, o es solamente amarillismo en las redes o qué pasa. Realmente no son nuevas. ¿Vale? Yes. Ok. Pero se van a aplicar. Igual. Se, habían, se habían hecho los despistados con esas. Con esas leyes. Infracciones. Siempre okay, han estado, pero nunca las también. han cumplido. Pero hoy necesitan plata. Yes. Ven en mano. Ok. Ok. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope to see you next Monday. I'm going to talk only uh, with Nelson. Uh, I, I send it the exercise. Ya les envío el ejercicio. Uh, I, you can check it. Ahí pueden checarlo si estaba bien o no estaba bien. And don't forget to complete all the activities in the platform. Por favor, complete todas las actividades. Pero yo no puedo, no puedo completar dos. Ya completé todo, pero tengo dos preguntas que no me aceptan. No sé por qué. Okay, as I told you before, uh, I'm not going to give you the answer, but at least I can give you some hints. Uh, if you write me inbox, I can explain. Okay, teacher. Okay. Ahora sí tengo que decir, siempre, siempre voy, a, voy a gastar por lo menos mis 40 minutos esperando que se convierta el video. Y en ese tiempo, I can give you a hint. Mm -hmm. They just giving you some advice how to do it, <clears throat> not the answer, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night, not, not, not tomorrow, next Monday. Good night. Okay, Good Nelson, night, no se me vaya. Nelson, Nelson, no se me vaya. Okay, Good thank job. you, thank you, Carlos. Ya me va a ir, teacher. Tengo sueño. No, no, Nelson, no, Nelson, no, 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 don't do that. Good night, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Eh, Carlos Javier Crespin. Sí, teacher, una, the question, eh, ¿quién se va a quedar ahora los 10 minutos después de la clase? It's going to be Nelson. <clears throat> ah, ok. Ok, but if, but if you have a question. Uh, sí, porque todo lo que recuerdo el mes este, de este módulo nunca me ha tocado a mí, teacher. Por eso le decía. Ok, 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 I know. Lo que podemos hacer es que... Escríbame no, inbox. Es que escríbame inbox. Yeah. Se quedan los dos, teacher, de un solo. Uh, well, it's up. It's up to you. For me, no problem. Démosle. Ojalá sean los mismos temas los que tengan dudas para que sí se puedan resolver ahí juntos. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, 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 ok. Buen problema, teacher. Let, let me see. Bye bye, María Elena. Bye. See you. Bye, María Elena. María Elena, bye. No hay que ir, ahí va ahorita. Bueno, teacher, tenemos... le voy a escribir entonces al WhatsApp. Ok, uh, So please. Que uh, los tengo, pero igual, como es. Ok, solo, solo me, me indica el, el número de ejercicio para ubicarme rápido y así darle una explicación. Es en la tarea 19, la pregunta 3 y 4. Ok, but write me <risa> in book, please. Pero me lo escribe porque okay. it's going to be after 10 minutes. Va a ser después de los 10 minutos. Okay, de okay. Ellos. Si se durmió, okay, perdió. Bye. Si se durmió, perdió. <risa> ok. Okay, let us start with you, Nelson. What can I do for you? What can you tell me? Do you have any question? Or... Okay, yes. Y ojalá sean las mismas que tenga, las mismas dudas que tenga este Carlos. Okay, eh, tengo dudas, teacher, en lo que es la unidad 4, donde los del el show y el su. Ah, uh, show and switch. Ok, so, okay. Eh, realmente no me queda claro en qué momento voy a usar el show y en qué voy a ver el show. Ok. ¿Verdad? The, let me see. Ok, let me tell you this. Ahí hay algo clave, fíjese. Okay. Hay algo clave de cuándo yo voy a usar mm. show y cuándo voy a usar switch. 
Veamos el amigo suyo que está ahí a un ladito a ver si se recuerda. Veamos a ver si él hace memoria. No hace memoria. Sorry, teacher. Estaba revisando las notas. Ah, ok. Es que me gusta tomar los apuntes que puedo. Ok. Bueno, según recuerdo y según explicaba usted, en so es más que todo para usar una, un adjetivo. Choose ah, ok, ok, ok. Ahí está. Ojo con eso, Nelson. Siga. Ok. Siga, en siga, sus, siga. pues, se explicaba que se tenía que usar este, un artículo, un adjetivo, un nombre. Y se puede identificar más que todo porque le da como más énfasis a la oración. Excelente. Ahí está. Entonces, en el sur tengo que usar lo que es un nombre, ¿sí? Un nombre, un artículo y un adjetivo. Mm. Un artículo y un adjetivo. Ah, ok. ¿Se acuerda, se acuerda de, de una actividad que hicimos relacionada con eso? Eh, sí, me recuerdo un poco. Y eso no, ya está. Ok. Ahí habían piezas claves en eso. Ok, let me show you this. I'm going to show you. Le voy a mostrar eh, lo que nos dice el manual nuestro para que así saquemos okay. conclusiones. Ok, here we go. Aquí tengo uh, how to use salt and switch. Tengo dos, uh, mm -hmm. dos cláusulas. En la primera dice, is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the report. Ok. Entonces, lo que le decía eh, el compañero es que generalmente después de so, voy a hacer uso de un, de un, de un nombre, es decir. Mm. Could be, no. de, de un bueno. adjetivo. Yes. Ah, en el so, un adjetivo. Ok, porque no confundamos so en switch. Yo me, sí, sí. Recuerdo, me recuerdo que les presenté uh, les presenté una, una diapositiva donde estaba bien explicadito, pero no, no, no me recuerdo qué día fue exactamente. Para, para buscársela. Yo quiero ver. A ver cuándo fue que vimos esto. So, yo soy así, yo soy subjetivo. Creo que fue por el 27, teacher. Estamos hablando que fue entonces la número 18. ¿Será que fue la 18? Pero si hablamos que fue el, 20, el 27, fue el, el... 27. Fue un martes 27. 27. Ok, entonces fue la número 18, ¿no? A ver si no recuerdo yo, teacher. No, no remember. Sí fue, no remember, pero sí fue un, un martes 27. No, entonces fue la número. No, fue una, la número. Fue la clase 17, entonces. Yeah, what the number 17. 
tuvo que haber sido la número 17. Right there you, you have a clear examples of how to use it. Pero la característica mayor es precisamente esa. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that we are going to be careful at the moment that you are going to use so and switch. For example, uh, if I say today is so cold, hoy está tan helado. Entonces, después de eso, tengo el adjetivo. ¿Sí? Adjetivo. Sí. Uh -huh. En cambio, cuando, cuando sí. usamos switch, cuando usamos switch, no solamente eh, voy a tener eso, sino que voy a tener un artículo. Y al final también voy a tener un nombre. Un nombre. Ah, un artículo. Un... Ah, ok. Un nombre. Por ejemplo, uh, you said, okay. it is such a, a created program. Mm, creative, yes, creative, creative, creative. Yeah. Creative. Ese creative viene siendo el, 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 el artículo. ¿no? Creative. Yeah, ese, ese, ese es como el adjetivo, pero después lleva un nombre. Uh -huh. Alguien dice, she is a such a beautiful girl. Ella es una muchacha tan linda. Ya. Ok, ahí creo que le voy a, le voy a luego a compartir la, la, la diapositiva donde tengo la estructura para que ahí le quede más claro. Related to that topic, ok. Ok. Ok, I don't know if you have another or le damos paso a Javier para ver qué duda tiene. Eh, más, okay. que todo, teacher, más que todo, más que una duda es quizás como que no comprendí muy bien la explicación que usted dio ayer. Ayer cuando me levanté a tomar agua y tomó la asistencia y no estaba, es cuando explicó lo del, lo que vimos ahora de último, teacher. Okay, del cero condicional. Sí, o sea, literalmente no comprendo, no entiendo, o sea, la estructura o cómo, o, o cómo funciona. Vale, Por eso es que he ido patinando ahí. Sí, le voy a explicar. La, la, uh, la estructura del cero condicionante tiene dos cláusulas. ¿Sí? Sí. Digamos que... Para que me lo comprenda, le podría decir que unas son las causas y otro es el efecto. Causa y efecto. Causa y efecto. Por eso es que poníamos el ejemplo y decíamos, si yo no llamo a mi esposa en todo el día, esa sería como la causa, ¿cuál va a ser el efecto? No es que ella se preocuparía. Un ejemplo. Ay. Ella se preocupa, ella se enoja, ¿sí? Ese es el efecto de la otra cápsula. Así es. Es como el otro ejemplo que les ponía y decía, si yo no trabajo todo el, todo el mes, yo no recibo ningún pago. Dinero. Ese es el efecto. Ningún pago, ¿eh? ¿Sí? El efecto. Si no se toma la medicina, no se cura. Ahí está el ejemplo. No se cura. Yeah, if you don't drink okay. your medicine. Y siempre el verbo tiene que ser sí. un verbo simple, ¿verdad? En, ambos, simple. en, en ambos tiempos. En ambos tiempos. Ajá. Por ejemplo, algo que no comprendía también, teacher, es que se explicaba de que en cierto en cierta situación hay que agregar una S mencionada ah, y sí sí son... claro por ejemplo dice ah eso ojo. también me quedó, no me quedó muy claro Va, ojo si, si yo digo una oración así si ella si ella se baña Jeez. 
pero mejor pongamos otra, sí. pongamos otra, sí. si ella come mucho, <risa> sí, mejor cambiemos el, 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 el orden, ahí. si ella come she mucho, eat, sería is she, if she eats, eh, le agregamos ese porque estamos hablando if, de, una, de una tercera persona, ya, pero le vamos a agregar la S a, al chief o a cuál? No, al verbo. Al ix. Al it. Ah. Al que cuando Ajá. es en, ah, en okay. tercera persona se le agrega una S al verbo, Tisha. Sí, cuando se usa con él, con ella y con Es el, en plural. Y con el it, por ejemplo, dice, if it is to rain, if it rain, si llueve, o por ejemplo dice, si él trabaja, if, if he works, si él trabaja, he buy, y le ponemos qué es lo que compra él. Ajá, puede como... pero, sí, si yo, pero si yo digo, if I say, if they work hard, si ellos trabajan duro, entonces ahí ya no necesito ponerle la S al verbo, ¿por qué? Porque ya tiene ese ahí en Porque... integrado. ¿Por qué? Porque ya eh, lleva porque eso, está hablando eh. de, ya lleva. Porque ya no estoy hablando de las terceras personas del singular, sino que estamos diciendo, estamos hablando de ellos. Ajá. ¿Comprende? De ellos. Ah, ah sí. ok. O sea, que solo eh, cuando se le agrega el, el, la no. S al verbo, sí. le es en... en Ajá, solo sería en he, por decir en I, she, ah, it. No, no, solo en he, en she, en it, solo en ellos tres. Ah, sería ajá, she, he, he y x. Sí, it. She, ah, ok, agregaré ese al verbo. So, se llaman inflection, inflections. Mm. Ok, ya donde ya hablamos ya de ellos. Ahí, ya ahí no. sí ya no se le agrega, queda, queda normal. Así es. Ah, ok. Yo creo que ahí he tenido Siempre también problemas en la plataforma en... porque no me... En simple... Simple, 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 ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Okay. Okay. Could you give me a, an example? Give me an example, please. De esto mismo. Okay. Real un, un ejemplo donde lleve ese. Quiero ver. Oh. No. Bueno, well, me mira la, la imaginación. <ríe> okay, Por no. lo menos si, si digo teacher, perdón teacher, y si digo is chigor a uh, every time. Eh, she is a more money. If, if she works over time, if she, she gets more time. money. She gets more money. Ah, you get more... ah, ok. She get more money, ok. Ahí sí tengo que agregar la esa, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, es porque estamos hablando de ella. Ah, de ella, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, another question, please. Nos quedan dos minutos. Bueno, Para yo solamente eso conocer. era dicho. Ok, en you, Carlos. Eh, cuando usted explicaba que se puede invertir la, o cambiar la oración, significa que puede cambiar el, la causa y efecto, ponerlo al revés. Sí, poner, poner el primero. efecto al inicio y, y la causa después. A eso me refería. Y no se... No, no, no se cambia, vería el, 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 el significado no cambia. El significado no cambia. Porque dice... Usted, el ejemplo usted, que usted dio de, de mi esposa que se preocupa. Sí. ¿Cómo quedaría entonces? Ahí quedaría que 
mi esposa se preocupa si yo no le llamo durante el día. Ah, ok. Hoy sí, teacher. Hoy sí ya le comprendí ahí porque quedamos muy bello con esto, esta clase. Ah, ok, ok. Por haberse quedado a la última batalla, a send me a message inbox, envíenme un mensaje inbox, I'm going to give you a, a gift. Les voy a dar un regalito así simple y sencillo, ahí se lo voy a enviar, pero mándenme un mensajito inbox. Ahí, ahí en ese regalito, okay, en el regalito que les voy a mandar, ahí van a comprender todo eso. Se lo mandamos Perfecto, ahorita. Thank you. Ya, ahorita, ahorita, porque ahorita tengo que hacer todo ya. Ya mañana, no deje para mañana lo que puede hacer hoy. Ya, <ríe> okay, todo, de todos modos, ya todo. ¿Pero se lo manda en su personal o cómo? Sí, ahí del grupo, del grupo, ahí, ahí está mi número, eh, ahí me lo envía. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you very much. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Next Monday, okay? Gracias, teacher. Okay, for you. Bye-bye. Gracias. Happy night. Sesiones. Okay, happy weekend. Ahí está Javier, rápido. Ahí.